right. Hey, yeah, give it up for your host. She's doing amazing. All right. Yeah, okay. My mom got pregnant with me too early. <laughs> so just like her plan to go to college, you can also give it up for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Got a lot of gay friends. Gay friends are cool. They got a lot of gay drugs in the gay scene. <laughs> I was at a party one time, my friend put this vial up to my nose and he said, hey, I want you to sniff this. And I was like, dude, you don't gotta tell me twice. I shoved that thing up my nose. Five seconds later, he was like, well? I was like, well, what? And he said, well, and I, I, this is word for word, well is your butthole looser. <laughs> It's my what, what, no, no, it's not looser. But shit, give me more of that until it is. That was a fun one. It's called poppers. Uh, yeah. I heard this song the other day. Fucking, the, <laughs> that cha-cha slide song. If that fucking song isn't a chair clutcher, you know, you ever just hear a song that you have to hold on to your chair so tightly because you know that some Jewish people are gonna come in and lift it up because you're at a bar mitzvah? <laughs> that fucking song, what is that? I throw my hands up in the air sometimes. Clutch your fucking seat because you're at a bar mitzvah. <laughs> oh, no, no. I, uh, my mom's been feeling really depressed lately, so I've had to put all my jizz clothes into a pile. <laughs> so she's in a better mood to wash them. You feel me? Because I, I don't want to do that to her. I'm a good son. I'm letting it all pile up. Um, yeah, dude. I, uh, I was at an open mic one time. And uh, I saw the host was calling up all the comics. And they were saying, oh, you know, this next guy is so funny. You're going to love him. Give it up for fucking so-and-so. And everyone goes crazy. Or they'll say, you know, oh, you've seen her here. You've seen her there. She's so funny. Give it up for Sarah. And everyone loses their shit. And then it was my turn. And they were like, this next comedian, he's here every week. <laughs> I'm here every week. That's just a stated fact. I don't even know. This is what we have here. Jesus Christ. You guys ever think Mormons get so horny that the dude is like, all right, baby, listen to me, hear me out? What if we just got married right now? <laughs> Those fuckboy Mormons must be something, right? You know, you gotta meet a girl at a bar, take her home, impress her, date her for 14 years, and then marry her, and then have sex with her, and then divorce her and do it all over again. Fuckboy Mormons probably have a, maybe a three body count, I think. <laughs> three or four in your lifetime. Goodness gracious. I can't talk during sex anymore because all I would say is, uh, I want you to come for me. I know. What, how does that come into someone's head? I had to stop saying that because they're like, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. Hey, you guys have been a great audience. I'm Nick Ryder. Thank you. <laughs>